Hi, this is Kara with the Barn Church and Ministries here in Southwest Michigan. Thank you for watching this week's episode of Reload. We really do appreciate it and hope that you are blessed by it. Make sure to comment and let us know what your takeaways are or maybe some topics you'd like us to talk about. So today I want to talk about faith, specifically how do you keep your faith fresh and alive? Can you know what astounds me? We serve an awesome, powerful, amazing, and glorious God, but sometimes we can let that relationship get stale. And when that relationship gets, when, when that relationship gets stale, our faith gets stale too. And nobody wants to eat a stale bag of chips. I mean, we're like a chip family. We don't want any stale chips, so we don't want that relationship to get stale either. And what do we do to protect those chips? We wrap them up, you know, we put the chip clip on it. We make sure that they're taken care of. We give our food a level of importance because we want it taken care of because we want it to provide, or, uh, provide for us and we don't want to waste money. So shouldn't we protect the relationship, the greatest relationship we, have, we even have? Shouldn't we never let it run dry or stale? God is alive. He's really, really alive and he's always pursuing us. So what can we do to help prevent our relationship from going growing cold and stale, because let me tell you, it isn't him. It is not him that's growing old and stale. He is always new and always fresh and always amazing. So if it's old and stale, it's because of us. So first thing you should do if you find that it's a little bit boring and um, maybe you just don't feel like as faith-filled as you used to, change it up again a bit. You know, find something new. Find some uh, different worship music to listen to. Maybe get up a little bit earlier. Um, maybe stay up a little bit later. Do an extra prayer or dance around your house or pray for somebody or do something to change up that relationship a bit to keep it on a new level. Um, I know that the, like the spiritual veil between this world and supernatural world uh, thins between 3 and 5 a.m., Get up at 3 or 5 a.m. Get on your knees. Seek him. Do something different out of the ordinary to keep that fresh. Second, number two, always, 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 and maybe this should be first, really, but always be aware of every little thing he does for you. Recognize his hand on your life. Like if you really believe he directs your steps and guides your step, then you won't get irritated maybe when you drop something or, you know, because maybe that 10 second pause saved you from a car accident or something like that. So praise God for those things that seem to be little irritants. It's his hand on your life, you know, praise God for those things that, hey, you've got, you've got the money to pay the electric bill. You've got food in your house. You've got a car. You've got a roof over your head. You've got a good job. Recognize his hand. Your kids are doing well at school. They've got good, healthy relationships. You've got a good marriage. You've got relationships with your parents that are healthy or your friends that are healthy, your church that is healthy. Recognize those things. That's his hand on your life. When we are more aware of his hand on our life and what he's really doing in our life, even in those little teeny small things, that faith stays fresh and it stays alive. He is doing it. You're going to see little, you know, see those little prayers being answered. See those little nudges he gives you from time to time to speak to someone about him. It is him doing it. So number three, because that was number two, it was a long one. Um, learn to heal a still small voice and be obedient to it. Don't ask why. We don't want our kids to say, well, why do I have to do that? We just want them to do it. Am I right? I'm right. So don't ask him why. Just when you know that it's him, just do it. Step out in that faith because that obedience will continue to build your faith more and more and more and more the more obedient you are. And the more you obedient you are in the little things, he'll give you, he'll start to give you those bigger things and those bigger things and it'll build. And when we walk in obedience to him, our faith stays fresh and alive because it's ever increasing. And when our faith is ever increasing, by utilizing it, it will stay fresh. It's a cycle. One will power the other. So make sure you're obedient in everything he tells you to do. Even if you don't understand why, even if it makes no sense, even if you don't want to, just do it anyway. Keep your relationship with the Lord the best thing ever. Keep him fresh and alive and your faith will be fresh and alive too. So hopefully that spoke to some of you out there. Um, you can find us on social media at The Barn Ministries. That's Instagram, YouTube, and Facebook. Or our website is thebarn.church. We will see you Friday or Sunday in the barn and hope to hear from you soon. Have a great day.